Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I have not made one of these sharing videos in a while, but today is pretty exciting because I'm going to be having my first ever experience with the Old Spice uh, shaving products. I'm going to be using the Old Spice uh, lathering like cream, you know, to, to actually like shave with. And then I also have the Old Spice uh aftershave um they, they i mean they call it aftershave lotion we're gonna see if it's a lotion or not right um so i'm gonna pause the video i'm gonna wash my beard or my stubble real quick uh to get the whiskers all nice and soft and then i'm gonna come back when i'm ready to start using the products so hell yeah guys right okay guys i am back just uh, gave my face a little bit of a wash um now what's pr let me just put my soak in the water soak in the water wow let me just put my brush in the water to soak bada bing bada boom now what's cool with this uh, lathering uh soap uh, yeah soap um is you can actually do it by hand and like rub it in your hands so it becomes a foam and then put it on your face or you can put it on the brush directly and lather it on your face or you can put it into a bowl lather it and then put it on your face so that's pretty cool uh, that's the um packaging you know it looks kind of like a toothpaste thing with the classic old spice on there it is a 70 gram tube which i think is pretty cool uh, this is my first time using it so i'm not exactly sure how much of it to put uh, let's put yay much we'll see in terms of smell it does have that classic old spice smell like if you if you've ever smelled their aftershaves or their um, deodorants or anything like that. It smells like it, um, but it's not as strong as a scent. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's get our brush out here. Just drain it of all the excess water. Oh yeah, that's, that's lovering. Fairly nice. Yeah, no, it does. It certainly has that classic um, Old Spice scent. Um, if you've never smelt it, it's kind of like a spicy clove type thing going on. Um, or at least that's the notes that I pick up. Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, now, if any of you guys are a little bit older, like maybe your maybe dad age or grandfather type age, you'll know that it used to come as a shaving stick, the soap. Um, and it would literally be a stick with like a base and you would either rub it straight onto your stubble and it was hard like a puck, you know, but instead of puck shape, it was a stick and you would either rub it straight onto your uh, stubble or you would get your brush and go along the edges of it and until you get some soap on your brush and then you would lather up on your face with that. Okay, I think that's, that's fixed it's gonna get, it is very thick and you know, it, it, the smell is light, but it's a very nice sort of old spicy scent. So hell yeah, guys. I really should wet my face again. I talk too much. That's that's my that's my problem. Okay. You yeah, know, the soap in general is very. Nice and creamy. Bada bing, bada boom. I do have some left in the um, bowl uh, still. So if I do need a bit more, I can go back to that. It doesn't taste too bad. <laughs> I thought I might as well taste it just in case, you know. Okay, so as the brush, as you can see, was the Percy Nobleman brush, and the razor is also the Percy Nobleman uh, razor. I did see that Old Spice has a vintage uh, mug, like a shaving mug that you uh, lather, uh, like make the foam in. So hopefully in the future we'll be able to get that. Oh, by the way, my mirror is over here, so if I keep looking over here, that's why. Um, so far, it's, it's, yeah, smooth. I can tell it's a very slick uh, soap, like it's not putting any friction against my, not friction, but it's not like 
um, trying to stick to the razor. Like it's very, it's gliding across very easily is what I'm trying to skid at here. You yeah, know, very nice uh, shave so far. Just doing my moustache area now. As I said before, for Christmas, I did get an Old Spice uh, kit. And in the kit, it had the aftershave. It had a deodorant stick, like with the bottom that you twist, you know, that raises, you know. Um, it had a body wash for like a, like a shower gel, you know. And it also had a, a deodorant spray that you like spray on yourself, you know. Boom, just wash off my uh, razor here. You know, so far it's a very pleasant, soft, thick, rich um, foam to shave with, you know. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty good so far. I'm certainly enjoying it. Bada bada boom. I am just going to be doing my average two passes. I'm not going to be going crazy with the shave, you know. Okay. The blade I have in the razor is the Wilkinson Sword. A double edge razor blade and it has one shave on it already this is my second shave with this razor so i'm not going to be getting the closest shave today but it will be a pretty good uh, safe shave i guess bada bing bada boom it's doing the job That's just a spot, that's not a nick. I got that the last time I shaved. Could be an ingrown hair, who knows? I hope it's not. Okay. Just gonna rinse off my face a little bit. I do love that the water I'm using is warm as opposed to cold. Just checking sort of my mustache area and okay. Not bad, man, not bad. The main, the main thing with lavas is you really want two things. You want it to be sort of thick and not that it just like decomposes after 20 seconds of being on your face. And you want it to be slick. You want it to be slippery on your face so the blade just glides on your skin. Um, in terms of things like smell, that, 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 that can be for later. You know, that's, that to me isn't as important. And so far on both those accounts, it's really good. You know, like even after I've rinsed my face, my skin is still very slippery. It's still very, you know, moist, I guess. Okay, that's the amount of lava on now. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more from the bowl. Boom, get a bit of water. Drip some water on there to make it nice and hydrated. And uh, yeah, second pass. This one, I don't do my mustache twice. This one, I'm just gonna do the main beard area and then I'm going to be good to go, so. The actual scent itself, as I said, is kind of like this spicy type clove cinnamony 
uh, type scent and I did see two other scents on Amazon where I got it from um, and the two other scents was there's the original which is I have now uh, then there's the there's one that's like a lime one I forgot if it's lemon and lime but I know it's got lime in it and then there's the other one which I kind of remember for the life for me it was out of stock I didn't concentrate on it so you know um, the lime one is coming at some point but it hasn't, it hasn't arrived yet when it does I'll be getting that as well and comparing it to the original scent oh no second pass instead of going with the green I'm going across it okay I personally go both ways when going across the grain. Now, one thing I will say about this soap is it's very slick. Um, I, I love it so far. Um, I also love the uh, diversity of it, like you can even use just your hands if you don't have a brush with you or you can use just a brush and like lather it on your physical face or you can use like I do like a bowl or a mug or whatever and lather it that way. So it's very um, versatile, I love it. That little spot, I did open it back up. I can see a little bit of blood on the thing, which is fine. Um, I do have my Loom matchsticks here, just in case I do need to shut it, like the cut or whatever, or the nick. Um, so that's completely fine. So if I'm blocking the view here, like, should I do more like this? Or... This doesn't do anything, does it? Usually I do stand more sort of in the center, like I usually have my camera angled a bit more like towards the door. Um, but this particular time I just wanted to do the background of my shower curtain. It's like, yes, my shower curtain, look at this, it's got birds and do these things are invading, are invading parts of London right now. I do not like these green ones, but the other ones I'm cool with. So <laughs> yeah, I've got beef with the birds. Don't judge me. <laughs> The set I got for Christmas was a pretty cool, it's limited, edi limited edition, it comes in like a box, like a wooden box that has like a latch on it, it's, it's pretty cool. And even with, because this didn't come with the box, the off shape did, but even when it, like if you take it out of the box like this, this fits in it with it, so it's all like one unit type thing, I, I, I love it. <laughs> What I'm hoping at some point is I'll be able to have a full on Old Spice shave. Like I'm talking like razor, brush, the like mug to lather in. I'm talking like if there's like a poster in the background, if I have like an Old Spice shirt, you know, just go full on with it. <laughs> I do apologize for not making any shaving content recently. I have done a few live streams. Um, but I have really kind of been slacking and I do apologize. Like, I, I, this is technically my Christmas video, but I am intending on making more shaving videos and live streams throughout the coming times. <laughs> I find with my chin hair, um, it's better to go outwards on both of them because if I go across, this side will be more stubbly than this side. So that's why I do that. Yeah, no, even after staying on my face this whole time, it's still nice and slick. I, I love it. Mm -hmm. 
I do have a plan in the works where I'm going to get a microphone like little stand thing or I might, might or I might DIY my little microphone stand so I can have the microphone like right here as I'm shaving so you guys get like an ASMR type video like I won't be talking during it it'll just be the sound of me shaving um which could be pretty good idea you know sorry I keep touching my microphone I'm, I'm hang on this is I'm sorry Bada bing bada boom. For all I know, like during that part when I was touching my mic, you might guys might not have heard anything, but I could feel my hand like touching the edge of the mic, so I don't know. I'm good with anything as long as it doesn't do that crackling sound like where the connector is. I do not know why it does that. Maybe it's a bit loose or something, I don't know. But it's been doing that ever since I got the mic, so it could just be the quality of the mic. Okay, so I'm going to rinse my face here. It's still so slick. Oh my goodness. This is a good quality soap. Well, that's all I'm going to say here. The scent at the same time gives it a very nice change from that like typical like scentless like barbershop like med not medical scent but like the the, the uh, cans of foam you know the scentless ones they, they all have like a very similar scent this makes a very nice change from that if i didn't get this soap i was going to use the pine soap from last year christmas that would have been pretty cool okay so in terms of a shave not the best shave I've ever done, but at the same time, like I said, it's not a brand new blade and I'm kind of talking as I'm going. So it's not going to be that great a shave anyway. Um, if I was on my own right now, like not recording a video, I would totally be uh, going, do a third pass against. Um, just just smooth everything out, but yeah, pretty good. Okay, so time for the aftershave. This is, a, this is the aftershave. It's part of the Captain line, not the original. Um, and it's called an aftershave lotion. So we'll see just how lotiony it is. We're gonna open that up. Get a little bit on our hand here. Better be better boom. I need a little bit more hand guys. Oh god, that's way too much. This is gonna burn, okay? <laughs> okay, so in terms of lotion, I don't know if it can be called a lotion, <laughs> but no, it's, uh, it was, oh, it smells amazing. It smells incredible. Uh, this thing is a hundred milliliters in case you're wondering which for a frame of reference um, the brute aftershaves are also a hundred mill uh, milliliters um, it, sm it smells good it smells like the soap but it's way more intense it's way more in your face you know what I'm saying Whew. That, 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 was, that was good okay put the little top on there bada bing bada boom so yeah, that's the shave. Oh, one quick tip I have right at the end of the video here. If you're going to be using an aftershave and like an uh, aftershave lotion or cream or balm or anything like that, like to soothe your skin afterwards, put the aftershave first and then put the um, cream. Because since this is more uh, liquid and since it has alcohol in it, it will evaporate quicker than if you were to put the cream straight on and then the aftershave, uh, uh, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, my review on all these products is very positive, very good. Oh, I've got a couple of little nicks here. I'm going to deal with those after I finish the video. Um, I recommend these. Like I said, in the future, I'm going to be getting the lime uh, scent of the soap. And, yeah, um, I, 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 I really like both of these products, uh, the, the lather and the uh, aftershave. So yeah, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, guys.